so hello so my name is Vichesh Muthumani and I work as a software engineer at the moment say like in the US so the reason I'm making this video is to give some kind of you know like direction for students who are going to finish their 12th and they're planning to join you know college soon so what happens is like the moment you like you know finish your school like your high school and you plan to join college if you're you know going into one of the streams of say stem for instance right there'll be a lot of choices so the thing is when i was you know leaving high school uh, so what happened was i was a really good like programmer you know back in the day so when i was in high school i was one of the best i would say so then what happened was so when i was about to leave high school that time the year was uh, uh, i think it was 2002 or 2003 so we had a lot of options so like everybody was saying you know, don't take computer science man because computer science is what everybody does you know go and join something like uh, uh, you know uh, circuit design or you know stuff like that and, and you know what happened was I made the mistake I would say you know now that I think about it of going and joining like degrees associated with the hardware design circuit design and stuff like that so what happened was uh, so after finishing my bachelor's when I came to the US so I did my master's also in computer engineering, which is kind of a hybrid between, uh, you know, circuit design and also just a little bit of, uh, say, programming. So then what happened was, uh, so then when I started looking for work, I found that finding work was be was really hard. So if you do hardware design and all that, uh, what happens is you don't have a lot of, say, companies that will take you in. So you've got Intel and we used to have a few other uh, hardware design companies in the past, but now like most of them are gone. So it was very difficult. So at the same time, I saw some of my friends who had done computer science in bachelors, who did computer science in masters. They were able to get work really fast. That's because you have a lot of software companies all around you. And plus, you know, computer science is one of those fields that you can use in like different industries. Okay. So computer science is not just about, you know, making like mobile apps and stuff like that, which is what I'm doing. Computer science goes deeper than that. You get to learn about... Uh, how computers work inside like how you when you write a program and you compile it and when you you know start to run it inside how the code gets converted into binary and gets run inside the hardware so these are really interesting things that you will learn in computer science you will also learn about you know time complexity there are different ways to write a program right so you want to write a program in such a way that it gets executed by using the least amount of time so how you write programs, you learn about data structures and all these cool things, okay? So a four-year degree in computer science is very important and taking computer science would be the best thing you can do once you finish, say, school. You don't be confused about, uh, uh, like, uh, say, uh, so when you go for admission, people will advise you, oh, go and take uh, hardware design, you know, go into electronics and stuff like that. Some will say go into mechanical because mechanical has been there for a long time. But the reality of the matter is, so once you finish studying for four years, so you want to be able to work, right? And you want to be able to make a lot of money. The thing is, you don't just want to make, you know, like mid-level money. So you want to make really, you know, a lot of money, right? So com taking computer science is something which is really good to do. If you are naturally talent uh, talented like the way I was, don't second guess yourself. Don't make the mistake that I made. Go join computer science. If you're really good at it, just do it. You will have the best life possible. So, so I just made this to give you guys that advice. And uh, so I hope it helps somebody. And I hope you don't make the same mistakes that we did. So the problem is, uh, you know, people like us, so, so after making the mistakes, we don't, you know, go back and tell the younger generation, you know, what we did wrong. It's only if we tell that, you know, the younger generation will be able to make new mistakes. So they won't make the same mistakes that we did. Or else... They make the right decision if they are in a similar situation like us and it will be able to help them. So if you think about it, first, if you're good in computer science in high school, just go for it straight, man. Don't be distracted by what your friends are doing, taking the other popular degrees because trust me, if I could go back in time, I would definitely take computer science after high school and my life would have been completely different. Yeah, of course, I have a big house and everything is fine now, but life would have been a whole lot more simpler if I taken computer science in the first place than doing some other degree and then learning computer science at the side finally to get a job it was quite a struggle actually so uh, just think about it huh? but if you guys are not interested in computer science then you know the world is yours and you can always go and do like whatever you want to do you know just follow your passion and do your thing 
so you might not get as paid as much as a computer science grad but you still be happy at least the important thing is you did what was truly what you wanted to do so search your hearts and do the right thing but if you already like computer science it's a no brainer just go ahead take it do it and have fun for the rest of your life all right uh, so thank you i hope this helps someone bye bye